Today for the Bitcoin price with DaVinci J15. Guys, something crazy is about to happen with Bitcoin here. Look at this. By the way, Merry Christmas, everyone. Look at DaVinci's amazing hat here. But I want to be talking about with DaVinci J15 about the Bitcoin price. Bitcoin is chopping around right now and everyone, everyone is asking, what is the next likely move for Bitcoin here at the Christmas days? We have some very, very clear answers in the charts to answer this question. We are going to talk about this. We we are going to talk about our current trades, about our future trades, about price targets for Bitcoin right now in the immediate short term. And towards the end of the video, for all the XRP armies out there, we want to be talking about XRP, which is in a free fall. And the most important question right now is, of course, is XRP going to go to rock bottom zero or are we going to have a very big bounce soon? We are going to talk about our predictions, our price targets for Bitcoin and also for XRP. So make sure you take a seat and this is important guys today watch this video until the very end it is christmas and i want to give a big big shout out to you a big big few words of gratitude here because look at the views here 60 70 000 views per video this is completely unseen and mind-blowing thank you so much and you know what the reason for this is not only the consistency of me and DaVinci J15, no, it is you. It is you guys giving the likes on the videos, subscribing to the channel, pressing the bell, pressing on all, sharing the video with your friends and just making noise for the algorithm. You are truly the most profitable crypto family out there, but also the most uh, supportive one. So thank you so much for that, guys. And with that being said, now I want to come to the most important question of today. DaVinci J15, first of all, why are you wearing a red shirt again? Please throw them all away but even more important how are you doing today my man man in the pipe five by five man how are you doing today in germany <laughs> i'm doing very very well and um, it's a little bit cold we have this lockdown but the most important thing of course especially on christmas days is family so i'm very happy to be here and um, i'm very happy that you can take some minutes of your day here out of your day and um, to push this content to us so thank you so much da vinci for for taking your time today and i hope in the future you will have green shirts just as we want green candles for bitcoin but this is maybe something we are going to talk about. Are we going to have green Christmas or red Christmas for Bitcoin? Let's pull up the charts and see what they are telling you. Well, hopefully my Christmas gifts only green shirts. So let's hope for that. <laughs> yes, please, please do okay, us the favor. <laughs> so as you can see, right, I cleaned up my screen, cleaned up my charts. Right. I know you guys wanted that that done because you're all complaining about my charts being so messy. OK, so uh, what we have here, right, is a rising wedge here pattern should, seems to be uh, forming out here. And uh, we're probably going to break in the next two days, next two days or so. So uh, I'm thinking whether whether it's, it breaks to the top or, or breaks to the bottom, right? You might want to wait until uh, it actually makes makes a decision before you actually get into a trade. Uh, if we head to to the uh, to break to the top, what I think we're gonna do is is either an A B equals C D from this level. Wow, right? that would be because, crazy. Um, no way. Uh, yeah, because we did. If you draw the fibs. From here to there, actually, we should be it should be from that part to there, right? You can see we we pretty much touched the 38.2, not quite, but um, we almost did it. And then so if you clone this this level, you clone this, and you go, okay, let's see what um, where this thing could take us. This is giving us like we... thirty thousand or so. I don't want to take it away, but I can already see that this is going to be completely insane. Exactly, exactly. So you can see. Right, that it gets it touches like almost a thirty thousand. It's the twenty eight uh, five hundred level. But here's the but though, right? If we if we undo that, right? Let me just undo those, right? And then we um we take those same lines, right? Let's take the lines, and then we do it from another level, from the from all the way back here, right? And we clone that line. <sighs> Right, now let's clone it. And then we drag this up. Oops, let me just get that there. There we go. And we drag that up here. That's even crazier. Guess what? Yes, exactly. Let's but take a look at where we get to. <laughs> look at that. Exactly the $30,000 level. 
Exactly. Exactly. So let's just let's go down. If if somebody wants, you know, you know, traders want to trade, right? Some people want to do this um, early, get in on this thing early. So let's go down to this, the short time frames. See if we can find any kind of, uh, you know, um, level that we could trade. Oh, look at that. We have to break, of course, the top of the W. Right. So let's just do. Let's point that out. And you can see that if we break that, we're going to go higher. However, you can see that we're closer to our trend lines, right, um, on the hourlies. So if that ha if we break down right through the trend lines and we close a four hour candle below that, I think where you can say, OK, this thing might be breaking down. And I don't know if you want to take a short to on that one, because, you know, there's a lot of people buying. Yeah, they're buying dangerous. the dips. And I really feel. Yeah, I really feel that they could not they could just just go, oh, because there's a lot of people with their finger on the trigger like, oh, you want to go down? Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. <laughs> so, so yeah, you, you've got you've got always got that issue. So watch out for that. Uh, at the 13 MA, they might end up um, buying up uh, a Bitcoin before it actually breaks this uh, this lower level here. So yeah, I would take with I would take some serious precautions if you want to decide to take a short uh, on a break of this trend line. So yeah. I would say go go for the long. The trend is your friend till the end, right? Exactly, exactly. And um, I mean, even if the end comes, I'm very sure that it will be maybe a one, two weeks correction, right? Might be very bloody. But in the end of the day, we are in a bull market. And in a bull market, your best chances are always too long. And whenever there is a downtrend, just wait on the sidelines and wait until this um, this correction is over. Because the next 12 to 18 months, I'm I, let's say the next 12 months, I'm actually very confident that we are not breaking the macro bull trend. We're just going to have bloody corrections in between, right? And just on a quick side note, guys, I do not want you to forget, if you are an experienced trader for limited time, I have here very, very high free bonuses here. 200, 300 US dollars here on these specific links here. If you go down to the links, you click the links, you sign up, takes 20 seconds or so. And then after your initial deposit, you get these hundreds of dollars of free bonuses for your own free trading here completely for free if you are an experienced trader you can use these free margins you can trade on bitcoin or on an altcoin even on xrp here especially on bybit for example and you can withdraw the profits from this free trade from the exchange as well so make sure you take advantage of that in the pin comment if you go down the very first comment down below make sure to take advantage of that right now so I, I think it's very interesting here if we break the trend line well there is more downwards momentum but the 13 ema is at the 22,000 us dollar levels or so and we have very strong bias here so of course a correction is possible but don't expect too much of a correction if i understand you correctly here and you actually still see this bull trend here continuing even with these crazy price targets you were just uh, pointing out and these are price targets i could um, surely agree to um, at least because i'm a bo uh, moon boy here but we have to wait here for bitcoin to break this horizontal resistance of 23822 <coughs> which is actually the exact level where we had um, many daily closes is here already so thank you da vinci we have all your price targets we have all your potential trades here uh, you would probably not be doing a breakout trade maybe i'm going to put one in um i just wanted to ask you how would you be trading it here before we are going into the xrp charts and um yeah our own predictions here for that yeah well i'm looking to see if this thing could come back down to touch the to graze this uh this line and then i would see if uh if i can go around to lower time frames and find um, well, ooh, look at that. That's not that's messy. <laughs> On the lower time frames, we see, uh, uh, of course, an M here, right? And so, uh, if it breaks, right? So I, w I would have to take this. I'd have to go. Okay. Well, I know that the buyers are going to come in, most likely, and I want to um, to pick this up at uh, maybe pick this up. When they start to come in on a reload zone, which is look there, right? Maybe that level here. If it doesn't, no, actually, no. I'm gonna um, let me just, let me undo that. Actually, I want to do it from here. I'm gonna do a, um, a measured move, not uh, not an A B equals C D because it doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm gonna do a measured move, and I would say probably from the the candle bodies, 
And then uh, that break, if we bounce off of here, which I think that's close to the 13 EMA, right? Uh, if we see some sort of like uh, a reversal pattern uh, on a lower candles, I would uh, trade this uh, going higher. That's if I'm paying attention when this yep. all this breaks down. So that's where how I, I trade this thing. But man, this is the 15 minute candles. The market is smiling at us. And even if it's going down on the 15 minutes, even we are bearish on the 15 minutes, the one hour, the four hour uh, could already look different. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts here, especially on the next potential trade for Bitcoin. Uh, I already said I would probably be trading the, the, the breakout here of the horizontal resistance. Uh, I'm going to do a solo video today or tomorrow where I'm going to share a little bit more of my thoughts here about the next potential breakout for Bitcoin. So make sure you press the bell button here. Not only on our channel but also on da vinci's channel and now da vinci i really wanted to know what are your thoughts on xrp we saw xrp declining actually now if you put in one bitcoin in xrp you get three times more than you got in the beginning of december here with all, uh, all the people actually rushing in uh, because of this uh, spark airdrop and now the question is da vinci do you think are we going to go to zero or is um, if, um, XRP going to have a very strong bounce? Because I actually can see a binary scenario here happening on the horizon because either the SEC is successful or they are not successful. So what are your thoughts actually on the XRP charts and also on what is happening here right now fundamentally for XRP? Well, um, there's something called uh, too far, too fast, right? So this price action, we've gone down too far, too fast. It's crazy. I, I thought we were gonna um, reverse uh, a little bit higher, on a little bit higher. Like for example, at this level here, when we came down, this was the breakout level here, and nope, it, it reversed a little bit and then came and dropped back down. So um, uh, I really think at this point in time, let's zoom in a little bit, right? Um, we have to wait and see if this candle, this daily candle, maybe we can go to a lower time frame actually, because this might happen, because it went too far too fast. It might turn on us uh, really fast as well and go the opposite direction. Um, nope, there doesn't seem to be, well, uh, nope, there's not any kind of indication that this thing wants to reverse on the four hour candles because uh, if we, let me just make this thing a little bit bigger so that you guys can see that. Um, and zoom in. So on the four hour candles, right, uh, we have an engulfing, like this was called a, a bull rammy, but in order for it to, um, to fire, right, uh, and say that there's a reversal coming, it, we have to go above this level, which is the 30, um, uh, cents, uh, level there. So, um, since we didn't do that, there is no, um, direction selected. Yeah. Uh, on the lower time frame so most likely we're going to head uh down since it looks like we ah yeah we broke the bottom of that bull rammy so that is the clear direction um mm. we're going to head further down unfortunately so i would wait for um i keep looking at the lower time frames to see if there's something that will give us a a a, a edge to to say okay where is this going to bottom out uh, in the next little while and so far right now it doesn't look like it and the, and the daily although the daily can change things a lot see if this daily uh, closes like this which I don't think so because we're so many out like uh, uh, 12 hours you know eight eight hours nine hours away from actual closing uh, I don't see it um, I don't see it closing like this um, yeah. in the next nine hours it might have some more downward uh, movements unfortunately well, uh, but uh, here's the thing, right? Uh, overall, overall, before before we uh, terminate, um, uh, overall, I have to say that if you buy down here, you're not buying the tops. Right? Yeah, that, the that's for sure. <laughs> I could even make a speculative bet, a bet on XRP. If this one drops down even further, I need a little bit more downwards momentum for that. I could imagine myself buying here on a very speculative approach just to have more uh, Bitcoin afterwards because, you know, in the end of the day, if we have the worst sentiment possible, everyone and their mother hating on it, well, then everyone already sold. So maybe if this one drops further, I might as well scale a little bit into Ethereum because just as you said, man, this is definitely not the tops here. Um, and considering that Bitcoin was rising so fast, we are here on the USD chart, um, it is actually the bottoms uh, probably here very soon so could be interesting to take a look at you actually on the usd chart you want to see it breaking the 30 
0.8 cents level so the 31 cents level or so to break above which is unlikely in your opinion right now but in case this happens you could see a reversal otherwise you think the most likely scenario right now is further lower for usd uh, for, for xrp usd always going lower and uh, of course um especially also considering the news right now the SAP, um, sec cracking down on xrp and i want to say even though I don't like XRP, I still love the XRP army because it is crypto people. We are here in it together. And of course, I feel sorry for everyone making these significant losses here. I still have a funny tweet I actually want to show. Da Vinci, maybe I will send it to you afterwards. I posted this and you guys can see it. I will put it in here into the chart where McDonald's was actually <laughs> welcoming all the new applicants um, from the XRP army here recently. And I mean, I can really feel you whenever Bitcoin is going down significantly i feel like contacting mcdonald's myself because i mean we all need money for a living we all need money for food and shelter and uh, i can feel the xrp army maybe feeling that way right now so this this tweet from mcdonald's was of course a fake it is just satire but um yeah it is very bloody times right now let's see where it goes da Vinci. <laughs> any last words to share maybe about pandora's wallet or whatever you would like to share right now well, actually, if you watch my next video, which I'm going to be posting up right after we do, um, right after we're done with this video, I'm going to be actually giving away my DJ15 token so that you guys could actually be in the uh, live stream. So, ooh, look at that! Uh, <laughs> it's really pumping, right? Um, and so I'm going to be giving away some of my uh, DJ15 tokens, just enough for you guys to get into this live stream and watch the live streams and join the the, the Telegram group. So if you want to do that. Go over and watch my video, and you could actually um, uh, get some your um, my DJ15 tokens for free. Check it out, guys! This is a good chance to go over to Da Vinci. If you didn't subscribe to his channel yet, um, then you should definitely do so. And I'm always the devil's ad advocate. Please ensure that you know about the risk of buying any token even though i always believe in da vinci's success and the success of the token i want to be the devil's advocate and always remind you on that even though this one is of course very successful here judging just from the history so far make sure you check out da vinci's channel you watch it uh, right now and thanks everyone for watching thanks for smashing up the like button for watching until the end you guys are the best crypto family out there and i'm not just saying that the views are the proof guys thank you so much for all your support and um, yeah guys we will see each other very soon in the next one of MM Crypto Da Vinci do you have any last words to share before we are wrapping it up for today yes always play from a position of strength and don't get wrecked do not get wrecked guys thank you so much for watching Merry Christmas for everyone who is celebrating Christmas for everyone else Happy Holidays and we will see each other very soon at the next one of MM Crypto today or tomorrow and as always guys as always click the subscription box of MM Crypto but more importantly of Da Vinci J15 right there and as always guys also the Bye, Bitch, right here. And as always, guys, as always, bye-bye.